All right, so I just want to welcome you today to the Accidental Artist, and I am so happy to have Krista here. She's actually Hungarian, and she lives in Australia, and she's the founder of Folk Bolt. So I just want to welcome you. Thank you for being here, Krista. Hello, Heidi. Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm really happy to be here, and thank you for the invitation. Oh, thank you so much for taking time out. So can you tell everyone just a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. So my uh, name is Krista Kemi, and um, I was born in Hungary, as you mentioned, and I um, live, for example, in Italy, New Zealand, and currently I'm living in Australia. And um, I'm probably here <laughs> if you pick me because uh, um, the thought board can be interesting for your audience. And I also have a very artistic background. So my father is a graphic designer. And also my mom or my grandparents were very talented or, or you know, crafty people. Um, and I always like to, to make, to create things. Um, I, I, I like to try new techniques. Um, I used to draw, paint, or knit, or make, for example, I don't know, beaded wire jewelry. So many, many different things. But um, the forever love is, is, um, is textile, is the textile. Um, for me. So um, I had a, a small business for many, many years, at least for 18 years uh, back in Hungary, and that was called Fordboard. Fordboard means, uh, Ford means um, patch, and the board in Hungarian is shop. So it was a patchwork shop where I, um, I designed and produced uh, home accessories with patchwork technique and um, Accessories for children's room, I don't know, wall hangings, textile pictures. Then I also made gift packaging um, for special occasions and designed and produced merchandising gifts for um, many big companies. And um, then, let me see, three years ago, yeah, in 2012, when I finished my business back in Hungary, I... Um, I decided to change the uh, content of um, Foldbot's Facebook page, where at the time I had already um, some followers, some thousands of followers, but as I no longer had any products to show, I decided to showcase the um, amazing artworks of other talented artists I already admired. And uh, there was only one rule, and this rule is... Uh, Still the same. I mean, I post what I like. <laughs> I and, love uh, that rule. <laughs> yeah, it's a very simple rule because, you know, um, uh, everybody can create a Facebook page or a website and show show what you want or what you want. So this is this is really easy. And uh, I deeply believed in from, from the beginning that um, uh, if I want to, you know, keep the... Um, the consistency, consistency of the of the of the page or or the Facebook or the website is um, it's very important to 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 put, to not to to make you know any exceptions or just what I like. That's it. And uh, it was a a hard way to <laughs> to learn how to say no. <laughs> Yeah. To, because yeah. yeah, because I receive many requests uh, daily, and um, and it's really it, it was really uh, maybe it was the hardest part to 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 learn how to how to say no to an artist to you know to a creative pe pe person without offend her or him uh, and her or his art. So um, it was hard, but I think I believe it worth it. And um, since two thousand twelve, um, Ford was. Facebook page um, became very popular and known internationally because at the beginning it was open only for the Hungarian audience because of my Hungarian company, but now it's really known internationally. And um, and the number of Fordboard's uh, followers is, is growing um, um, very fast. I mean, it's an average 1,000 new people daily. Wow. And from wow. all around the world, and I'm I'm really happy for for this fact. Um, and um, because I realized that my post brought a huge audience to the um, showcased artist, so after two years of free work, 
Uh, last year I decided to, to put a little business behind. Uh, so last year when, when this uh, number, I mean the, the number of the followers of Fallbot Facebook page reached the, the magical 200,000, I, uh, I, you know, I, I saw this is a sign, I just reached the milestone, so it's time to, to start something, something with it. And I created a website, this is the .com. And, um and I put together really affordable um, promotional packages for the artists or artisans I, I accept to, to showcase on my pages. And, and I just wanted, you know, um, the price is really affordable because I was on the opposite side as well. I mean, I... When I created things, you know, and, and I went to the craft fairs and I tried to sell them on, on um, online or any web shops, and I realized that without any um, proper promotions, it's really hard to, if you are alone, even if you are, I don't know, the best, <laughs> it's, it's really hard to be, be recognized. So, because of the, the numbers of followers of Ford Bolt, um I think and I deeply believe and, and also the feedbacks uh, tells me that that it works so I believe I can help them to, to be recognized uh, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> it's simple, it sounds simple, it wasn't always that but it's not how it works. <laughs> well I just, I love that you provide this platform for artists that may not have a chance to reach those kind of numbers. I think it's fabulous what you're doing, and I love how you're bringing like this giant art community together. It's just really, really amazing. So thank you for your work. <laughs> I love to do it, I really. So I, I, found, I, I no, I think I'm, I really found what I, what I wanted to do with my life. And, and, um, and I think all of my previews, experiences or, or background or you know what I did before um, it just it just brought me to this way so so now it's easy <laughs> <laughs> now, now I realize that that I'm, I'm in the right place so yeah yeah it's awesome and it's so cool to see how you know how you said like all these experiences you've had have brought you to this place to where you can run this company now so it's just so cool because this whole thing is about, you know, the accidental artist and how art can enrich your life. And it's just neat how you're almost, you know, encompassing all of that. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So what would you say, Krista, is your favorite thing? I know you um, you used to do a lot of art. I don't know how much you do anymore. But um, whenever you were creating, would you say your favorite thing to create was like the textiles? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not easy to, to answer to, to this question, but um, I think, because I also love to wear them, so I think the, the women's skirts, <laughs> I like to create them very much. And, oh, uh, yeah, talk about that a little bit. What do you do with skirts? <laughs> As a skirt, so I, I normally use um, uh, a plain color, and, and knowing me, it's mostly, or a bright pink or orange <laughs> or green or something, you know, just, uh, so definitely not the pastels. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I just, um, or embroider, um, I like flowers, so I mostly use, um, uh, my own designed flowers, uh, which, um, looks like, uh, my son's flowers, so he's seven and a half, so you can imagine my, um, drawing skills but <laughs> it's uh, okay it's my style let's call it style so it's really a, a little bit of child childish a little bit you know um like the uh, the patterns from the the 60s or, or i really like the the pattern uh, the scandinavian patterns it's just a so simple drawing nothing extra just the flower with the petals that's it so right. it's easy for me to draw, to sew, to to embroider, to to any surface, and I do it. And I and I like to use um, bold colors and um, 
and mostly, you know, the floral patterns. So I, I used to sell a lot of them, also back in Hungary and, and some, some of them here in Australia. But to be honest, I don't really have uh, much time now <laughs> to create them. So sometimes I, I, I make one or two for myself. And, you know, just um, dropping my son in the school and uh, having a chit-chat with the mom. So, yeah, <laughs> half of the school have already. But, you know, it's... Um, <laughs> oh, do you make them for people at the school? Eh, why not? Uh, if they ask. So, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you know, um, if they like it, it's, it's a very... Um, so it's not, you know, it, you are going to, uh, the, to, the, to the shop at the corner and you can find it. You can be um, open-minded <laughs> to <laughs> buy good ones, but well, uh, yeah, they buy it. So, um, hey. <laughs> so good. I like it good. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> well, that's cool. So you'd probably say like the sewing and making your own skirt or your own clothes. Yeah. Well, good. Do you have like maybe a favorite book or a quote that you kind of live by or really are inspired by? Well, quote, not really. Quotes are, um, I change them. <laughs> I change them daily or weekly because, you know, it's, it's up to your mood, up to your, I don't know, yeah, really up to your mood. So not quote, but, but definitely my all-time favorite book is The 100 Years of Solitude by um, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I, I love it. I just love it. And um, What's it called? The 100 Years of what? Solitude. Oh, okay. And even if it's not the, the, the most happiest book of the world, but I just like the style, the everything in it, really. Um, and I like to read um, uh, books from um, um, Paulo Coelho. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, there are heaps of Hungarians, but <laughs> I don't think it's, it's worth to mention them. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is a, a bit of... Um, how can I describe the word? I mean, Gabriel Garcia Marquez and this specific book is really, um, really means a lot of me. I mean, um, it's a imagine, it's a little bit an imaginary word, but it just it can happen as well. So it makes you think. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Is it inspi Like, does it inspire you to kind of want to do more, or what is it? What's it kind of about? Um, it's about the life of a family. So it's um, a kind of family story um, through the many, many years. But it's a really an unusual family and, and you know, um, magical things happen. So which are really not, uh, not in the everyday life or not in everyone's life. So it just, it just I just love it. I just yeah. love it. <laughs> sounds interesting. I'm going to have to check it out. <laughs> um, so can you tell me a little bit about maybe who inspires you? Kind of who do you look up to? Uh, yeah. Well, I think, yeah, I, I, I can talk about, you know, I can mention artists or artworks, but, but I think... Um, the most important for me are the positive people and positive thinking. So I, and, and for example, the willingness, willingness to, to solve problems instead of, you know, complaining and crying and, and just, just, you know, standing where you are. No, I, I like to go, go forward and, and solve problems. And, and if positive people around me, I'm okay. I'm on the right place. So, and I really like creative and open-minded people as well. I mean, they are such a great company and they can, they can recharge me yeah. <laughs> every time. So um, I think that's it. I love that. I love that um, you say that you like to go forward <laughs> and hang around people who solve problems. That's so, I'm the same way. I like a problem solver. I don't want someone complaining about it. Just tell me how you can solve it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way, yeah. <laughs> that's great. So can you tell me maybe a story about a time that you worked on a project that was special to you and maybe describe why it was so special? Uh, well, 
You mean creating something, so in an artistic way? Or, or, it could or, be anything, really. Just something that was really meaningful to you that you've worked on. Well, um, let's say um, to create, to put together and create all along the website behind Fallboards um, was a great experience for me. Even if um, I was able to use a very simple um, template, a very handy template, but I had no, and I had no any um, IT experience before, so <laughs> it was a great step for me to to decide to do it and then do it. Uh, so I spent a lot of time to to put it together and and change the content and change the design um, at the beginning, but but it worked it, and I'm and I'm really happy. I maybe it's not to to a good, not, not a good thing to say, but I'm satisfied with, <laughs> with the back website looking. Oh and my gosh, it looks great. I would be so <laughs> proud if, if that was my work. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really happy to find that um, that that help, um, that website through I, I was able to, to create it and create it and um, and I just like it. So it's it, it was really a, another type of um, work, another type of uh, experience. But but you know, just another tick in my life that I can say that oh, okay, I can do that. Yeah. So let's let's step forward and and find other things to to try out and to to create. So it was good, good yeah. experience. <laughs> Tackle the next thing. <laughs> and. Do you find that like the, the artist, you know, when you do accept an artist to be featured on your Facebook page, do you find that they're really appreciative or what kind of feedback do you get? Oh, I'm really happy with the feedback. So um, I have very, very positive feedback. So they, they're saying that, that being featured on Ford Wars pages uh, help and bring them on um, uh, heaps of an audience, you know, and, and, and new likes on the Facebook page or, or sometimes even, even sales, mm -hmm. uh, which I never promised <laughs> to, right. to have sales after my, and, and I'm really, um, you know, um, I had to mention time to time because some, okay, of course I have some not really bad experience. Some, sometimes I receive emails saying that, um, oh, I was expected more. I was expected, I don't know, five or ten sales after your post. And I said, I, I never promised that. I really, what I promised, I think I can guarantee mm -hmm. the, um, that numbers on, on Forbes Facebook page are real, so that's a real audience and they are really hungry for for art and, and colors and and um, if they like what, what they see, they appreciate your art, they visit your page, they if they want they, they can buy your, your creations. So yeah. But mostly I, I receive mostly really I receive positive feedbacks and what what is the best thing is, um, uh, let's say, after the last year, yeah, I just started last year uh, with the website and with the whole, uh, with the entire business, you know, and uh, and after three months, uh, there were artists coming back and asking again and again. Wow, that says a lot. So, um... <laughs> So anyway, do you believe that um, anyone can use art to enrich their life? Yeah, it's. Um, I think it's true. Yeah, but um, I also deeply believe that uh, you know, in the in the power of creating things can make you happier. So it's it's really a, at least for me, it's a very satisfactory thing to create anything. So it it you you don't have to think or on um, huge things. I mean, uh, even if you are not an artist at all, you can create uh, an accident, <laughs> drawing something <laughs> with your kid, which makes you laugh or remember to something, or creating nice, I don't know, just a bouquet, uh, bouquet of flower to the table, and uh, you can just admire it. So I'm like cooking something. Cooking is an art, so really. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
So cooking just something delicious. Or, or, or what I like most is, for example, when it happens, um, um, you know, it just, just recognizing the beauty of a moment in, in your everyday life. When, when you are just driving the car or just sitting in a park and uh, at the, or the playground or, or wherever, it doesn't matter. And just, just to, to recognize a flower or just a bird or something, something around you. So I, I really like these, these um, let's call them blessed moments. Really, yeah. So they they also can uh, fill you up or recharge you. Um, that's it. And and of course the proper art. And um, I used to when I was a kid, we, we used to go to um, museums, you know, and admire the great painters and sculptures. And and um, it was a great period for me to to. You know, I think to to remember now, even now, after I don't know how many years. So yeah. it's it's really something. So piece of memories. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Just you know, telling people to just kind of go and appreciate the moment. Mm. So, so what like would that be kind of your first steps if you're going to give advice to somebody that maybe has never done art on kind of how to start? What would be those first steps? Oh well. Uh, oh, these are these are big words, I know, and these are just the sayings. But but you should follow your heart. I mean, if you, I used to, I like to see, um, you know, just just I don't know, pick a book from the library, an art book or a magazine or or something, and um, if you feel a, that kind of. Uh, Feelings in, in deep in your heart or deep in your hands, maybe <laughs> it's, it's up to you. Uh, just try. It. So don't don't be scared. I mean, uh, uh, because yeah, because um, my father is a very well-known artist in Hungary. I I always had uh, problems to to you know just just put a white uh, piece of paper on the table and and draw something because I I have in my mind I had in my mind you know. Oh, my father can do it better than me. And it took me a heaps of time to, to forget about it <laughs> and to say, all right, that's my father, cool, great, and this is me. Right. So when I, when I started a couple of years ago um, doing crafty things with my, my little son, and I, I, found, I found the, the joy of, of creating things again. I, all right, a part of my sewing and my artsy things, but just, just to draw, I don't know, two lines and, and a third one and a circle and just, you know, observe the paper and, and you say, oh, huh, that's looking good. <laughs> uh, it's, it can be easy. It's just you have to be, your soul has to be free, <laughs> really <Yeah>. free. <laughs> To start it. Yeah, that's true. Like, we need to have free of judgment against ourselves when we're drawing. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, um, so do you have a free gift that you want to offer one of our viewers today? Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, why not? Um, because I don't have uh, proper creations to offer at the moment. So I sold all of my skirts, or I wear them, sorry. Uh, but I'm really happy to uh, offer one featured artist package free of charge for one of you. Uh, so the, the method is uh, the same as for everyone. Just visit the uh, Foldboard's um, website, thefoldboard.com. And uh, there you will find every uh, useful links and every useful info. And if you think um, your style, your um, designs, your art is um, suit for your style, um, don't hesitate, please. Just fill up the form. Uh, there is a very simple, very handy form. And I will receive it. And, um, well, you have time till the let's say the 21st of May to do this and and I will I will choose one of you and and uh, and I will be very happy to showcase your art on on Fallboss pages 
Great. Yeah, that's awesome. So just to be clear, it is only one featured artist package. So I know we'll have so, one. Yeah. yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll have hopefully. Yeah, Sorry so about that. Oh, <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure everybody realizes we have probably several thousand people um, watching this interview. So we just want to make sure that only one, we apologize. Yeah. That only one free of charge, but yeah. um, countless, countless. Yeah. If, if, if you think uh, Fallbush yeah. Services can, can help you to, to promote your app, I'm happy to do that for you. Great, that's awesome. Well, Krista, it's been so much fun. Do you have any final thoughts for our listeners today? Uh, enjoy your day. Nothing really big or special. <laughs> I just start my day here in Australia, so I don't know where are you, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm in Texas. I'm ending my day here, and you're starting yeah, your day. I know, I know you, but <laughs> the rest of your audience. So have a good night, have a good day, enjoy your life. Oh, well, I appreciate your positive attitude and I just love what you're doing is, you know, for the artist community and it's just amazing. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later, Krista. Bye. <laughs> Bye.